Put your hands in the air and you have the right to remain silent as we go back in time and take a look at this. It is the Transformers 07 Recon Barricade and Frenzy. Both of these guys will be our focus this time around in the latest Got By True review. Hey one hail, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, aka Gotbot. As always, man, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you are at it, light him up, baby. Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton, and it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All that in the description down below. Also in the description down below. And if you happen to be in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we have to offer to you through spring. Or, of course, hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. And this is the 07 Recon Barricade. It is the exact same mold as the regular release of Barricade in his black and white. But now with a kind of smart looking gray and blue color, color scheme. This is on loan to me by friend of the channel Maximal10. Um, yeah, inside the grill here, we still have Frenzy, and we will talk about him. But as far as the big boy goes, he will be our main event. Without any further ado, how about we head over to the table and take a closer look at these lads. And so we go back in time to the 07 movie with Recon Barricade. No box, no instructions or anything like that. This is the regular 2007 deluxe barricade mold. Done now in a gray and blue color scheme, which obviously will lower his accuracy score. The stock images had a lot of gray up here on the light bar, but I think I really like the blue. He rolls like an absolute champion. Nice painted detail here on the back. We have... Um, a license plate here. I can't remember what the reference is to. It's some sort of, I don't know, political nonsense or business or some nonsense like that. Uh, it still says to punish and enslave. We have a Decepticon logo inside like the police logo there. I kind of like these vents up here on the hood. They look kind of cool. Uh, if I didn't already say it, he rolls great. Translucent windows on the side and the front, but on the back, just molded in gray. On the regular, it's molded in black. The only gimmick that this mold has and still has is the grill can come down and we can, there you go, take out Frenzy, Frenzy's legs flip down and his head flips up and boom, here we have Frenzy in a, like a blue motif, so to speak. I think this is the only time that um, Frenzy's eyes are also painted. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like that this is the only time that movie Frenzy's eyes were painted. He doesn't like to stand the best. He looks a little weird in terms of articulation. I mean, he can sit down, I suppose, um, and the arms can go all the way around and the head can fold back, but that's it. Like, he's actually quite, man, oh man, does not like to stand up at all. He's actually quite static, quite spindly, quite static. Uh, he closes up again all the way around here and then we can fit him back in the grill here and bring the grill up over the front to hide him in there so he's not a cassette that comes out of sound wave he's a weird little grill robot that comes out of barricade i don't know he's his radiator maybe i don't even know if that's still a thing in cars i'm not gonna lie i don't know anything about cars what I do know, though, is that this guy looks pretty great and rolls pretty nicely. Let's do the transformation and then we'll do the scores. We pick off the entire side here and we pick off the entire side over here. And once we got all that off, we know that they're going to become the arms eventually. The whole kind of lower part of the vehicle comes down and we're going to split the rear end and then really we're, we bring up hips and when we do so we're going to bring all of this blue hinge forward we have two rectangular tabs here that are going to go up into two slots right there to solidify all of this in place we bring down a foot and you can bring down a knee like that if you want you don't have to uh, some people prefer to leave a chicken leg, but that's up to you. And I'll note now that there's also a little easy enough to forget this step. 
a little spur, I suppose we'll, we'll call it spike in his toe. Wouldn't want to be kicked with those feet. But that's the lower body of Barricade done. We're going to... We're going to try to adjust the camera a little bit so that we can do the upper body next. There we go. We've kind of got that uh, done now. So we come here and we pick this up and there's a blue hinge in here that the shoulder's on. Bring that all the way out to the side for now. It's this blue hinge like way in here. And same thing, we can bring that out to the side for now. Uh, this piece can go down and these, uh, I guess window pieces can sort of kind of come up. We're going to bring an arm down and an arm down and rotate the tire piece around that's part of the shoulder, rotate that around, and I guess we can bend these. Then we split the chest, and that's going to allow us to bring the head up. I like to uh, kind of attack the head from behind here a little bit in order to, there you go, push it up all the way. Um, and then we can bring that down on the back, bring these up like that. But boom, in essence, in the end, here we have Barricade in his robot mode, and I'll note this right now, there's a button over here pushing that, uh, it makes like a spring-loaded arm thing. And if you want to do it, though I don't think it's considered official, maybe it is, if you want to do it, the thumb comes out and you can rotate the hand out a bit so that it's not just like part of the, the back of the car. Uh, that, and rotate that out a little bit as well. Um, like I said, a couple of minor transformation parts that may or may not be something that you want to kind of focus on. Just so, since we have him in robot mode here, just for comparison, here he is next to the Earthrise. So he's a bit bigger than the Earthrise version of himself. And here he is next to the more recent Gamer Edition version of Barricade. They're, they're fairly similar uh, in terms of size and the gamer one was a big deluxe i'll give this guy credit for one thing he is one hefty deluxe for sure let's do some scores for this guy uh in terms of look i mean he's not any of the colors of the movie so a zero but the silhouette is definitely barricade that's a solid eight, maybe even a nine. Let's split the difference and say that for the look, this is about a five. You're not gonna mistake it's barricade, but I think a lot of people would say, it looks like barricade, but his color is not right. Is this a different character? Like, I think that's what a lot of people would do. Uh, us fans would probably know that, oh, that's recon barricade, right? But I think most kind of people that know the movies and know barricade, they might recognize this as that same body type, but think it's a different character. So we'll say a five. In terms of the transformation, I think it's the best barricade transformation for a mainline that I've ever experienced. The NPM is the best transformation for a barricade I've experienced. But this beats the last night version that had its uh, uh, fiddliness, we'll call it. It beats the, I can't remember if it's Revenge of the Fallen or Dark of the Moon. I want to say Dark of the Moon version, which again, because of the legs especially, is quite fiddly. Um, I, I, the Earthrise is great, but again, that has its fiddly bits. Uh, the Siege was quite smooth. The Gamer Edition one is also quite smooth. But for a movie barricade, this is really nice. The arms are the entire side of the car. The legs and waist swing down logically. And the whole way the head comes up is a simple uh, splitting of the chest. So I'm going to give the transformation a solid 8. He was getting a 5. And an eight, about a seven and a half overall at this point. What about the articulation for this guy? We have a head that does a little bit back, but that's it, unfortunately. And no waist, which is also unfortunate. The hips can go forward and they can go, really, if you get the roof head the way, all the way back. The knees are about 90 degrees, maybe 80, no, maybe 90 degrees. Um, but again, it, like they go forward like that, so it depends on how you kind of want to position the knees a little bit there. Uh, the feet are on like ball pegs, so we do get a little bit of side to side wiggle, forward and back. Uh, not the most solid on his feet though, because he is a bit top heavy. Um, like I said, these swivel. The arms themselves are somewhat limited, really only able to go out about that far to the side, roughly. Um, we get an elbow to... 
7 degrees maybe. I, it's not quite 90, but it's close on 90. The thumb moves. I guess the fingers kind of swivel a little bit. Um, not a ton of dynamic poses. He was getting a 7.5. I think the articulation is... You can do a few things. I think it's about a 5.5. Overall, I think this version of Barricade, while it's nice, and robust plastic. While it's a fun transformation, a great desk bot, for example, to flick between both modes, as a fully functional transformer, I think he, he's only about a six and a half. It is an exceedingly, exceedingly mediocre mold that would have really benefited from maybe a ball joint at the head and something at the waist. If you had had those two things, I think a lot of the other gripes, like the shoulder limits, might be forgivable. But just like the Gamer Edition one is very limited in robot mode with articulation, but still has an enjoyable transformation and that makes it enjoyable and that makes it fun. I think the story is very similar here. The robot is severely hindered in a lot of ways, but I'll give credit where credit is due. The transformation is a blast. Overall score for Barricade, six and a half. And here we are once again, and here they are, I suppose. So the frenzy is very simple. It gets out and basically unfolds. The arms can move forward, but that's about it. Even the feet are together. It's not great. <laughs> but, I mean, it is spindly. I mean, how much do you really need for frenzy? You know what I mean? Um, then we get to the main event here, and I, like it, it's a lot like the Gamer Barricade, like I said. I enjoy the transformation. I love how robust and solid the plastic feels, but he does have some issues standing up because of the, I don't know, it's like the ankles or something want to move, or the feet want to move, I don't know, it's top heavy, I'm not sure, but I find I've really got to try and strike his right balance by manipulating especially the arms. Because there's a lot of weight in those arms. Um, as for the arms, they're the key point of poor articulation. This is as far out as it goes. At the time, it was sort of the norm in a lot of ways. Like you look, for example, at the um, Classics Universe uh, Side Swipe shun, Sun Streaker Red Alert Mold. Those shoulders were also somewhat limited like this and came out aroundish that time. Um, so it wasn't out like kind of outside the norm. However, that being said, I wish that there was more movement to it. Moving these pieces helps a little bit, but not a lot. Um, going all the way around is, is easy enough though, so that's cool. I do wish we had a bicep swivel. I, I, I can't discern one. If there is one, I'm really not feeling it. I think that that's a big last opportunity. But the biggest last opportunity here is no head. And that would be okay if you had a waist, but no waist. Like, he literally can't do anything but look straight ahead. There's no turning his head to the side or even rotating his whole body to the side. That's severely... You, you take the lack of waist, the lack of head movement, and the shoulder limits, and man, it really hinders the articulation. But I, as I lament that and say that to you, don't think that that means... And even though the score was a bit lower, don't think that means I didn't like the guy because in a funny, weird way, much like the Gamer Edition Barricade, I actually find myself quite smitten with him. Fun transformation, solid in hand, I don't feel like I'm gonna break anything, but I really wish the articulation was something a little bit more special. Let me know what you think about Recon Barricade or the original Barricade for that matter. I appreciate you guys coming by giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we have to offer to you through Spring. Or of course, hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. While you're at it, please hit the subscribe button, stick around, have some fun with us here on the channel, and especially remember that somehow, some way, each and every single day, you right there, you do make a difference in the world, and I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres, or the old fashioned way right here inside the videos.